oh yeah, so this cleansing, I felt cleansed after the ETS and SBL. I come home and I posted this thing. This is this is what I posted. I I put a uh, I put up a, a comment that said this sums up my thoughts on the messianic slash Hebrew roots folks who are giving up on sola scriptura and accepting rabbinic writings as divinely sanctioned. The post had a picture of Dr. James White and the uh, and the quote from James White was once the highest view of scripture is abandoned by any the- theologian group denomination or church the downhill slide in both its theology and practice is inevitable. Now, there was somebody who posted and said, um, yes, but, uh, you know, once you give up on on uh, keeping Torah, the downhill slide into uh, Christian Gnosticism is inevitable, blah, blah, blah. And so I wrote back uh, and I challenged that saying, well, because I, once again, I, I have this problem with people who think that Christians, God-fearing, Bible-believing Christians have given up on Torah. They don't call it Torah. I get that. But if you say God's instruction, which is Torah, or if you say something like the word of God, the entire word of God, is the entire word of God, uh, you know, meant for, for uh, believers, they would say, of course it is. And We see a huge amount of this within uh, Christians like Dr. James White and others, Dr. John Piper, who— John Piper, yeah, good point. —strongly oppose the idea that we be under the law—I'm putting quote marks for those who can't see me—under the law. You know, how dare we go under the law? I get it. Okay. But at the same time, these men are living out a life of Torah, whether they want to admit it or not. And they're doing that through loving their neighbor as themselves. They're guiding people uh, to the faith. They are in the faith and to the Lord Yeshua, the Messiah. And they are living these righteous lives. And whether they want to admit it or not, whether we want to admit it or not, it's this is what Torah is. Now, granted, they have given up on things that are very important, such as uh, the Sabbath the kosher laws and the festivals. These are all very important things. But what as believers, as messianics, have we given up on? Have we given up on certain forms of loving our neighbor as ourselves? Have we given up on slander? Have we these kind of things? Are they more important? So this is kind of the beef that I have with with messianics getting down on uh, on Christians. So I wrote this, and then somebody else right. responded, and this is this is the uh, this is the response that I got, and I want to respond directly to this comment. He says, I'm having a hard time understanding where you're coming from. On the one hand, you are heavy-handed on messianics, yet on the other appear to be flaccid toward Christians, past and present. I think that Bible believers, whether you're a messianic, whether you're a messian- uh, Hebrew roots, whether you're a Christian, call yourself what you want. If you're a Bible believer and a, a believer in the Messiah Yeshua and that the, the Messiah has died for you and your life is being sanctified through the Holy Spirit— Guess what? I don't care what label you have. So, but I I am against this idea that now that I'm in the messianic movement, I have the truth, and the Christians are all they they don't get it. They're off in la la land. He goes on. Even in this post, it seems to be strangely woven mixed, uh, a strangely woven mix that is hard to settle on conclusion, stating that messianics are wrongly elevating rabbinic writings yet using a reformed doctrinal term sola scriptura. Okay, I once again, I think that the doctrines, the five solas were not doctrines of the reformers. They were doctrines that were in the Bible. They were biblical doctrines. All the reformers did was give them a new name. Sola scriptura, sola, sola fide, sola de gratia, right? Okay, so the... They gave him a new name, but th- th- we can clearly see them within the writings of Paul and within the writings of the Tanakh. He goes on. The other statement, elevating Christians as having a higher view of Torah, yet disparaging Messianics. Okay. And this is where it comes down to. I want to talk specifically to this issue. Yes, I do disparage Messianics, and I do disparage Hebrew roots over Christianity. And I'll tell you why. Because I can go to a place like the ETS and SBL and realize that these people— are living out Torah, whether they call it that or not. It's it, they're they're not calling it. You know the terms might be different, but they have still put a high high value on the study of the word and, and on right. and on scholarship. Exactly, they, and they're willing and they're willing to have a society where people who are in the labor of the word get up and present 
difficult ideas and yeah. sometimes controversial ideas in a in a room full of equally or sometimes more in my case more educated peers who are willing to hear it out and then give a response in a public forum that's peer review what what we see in the messianic world or in the hebrew roots there's a bunch of yes groups completely different there's that's a all. there there's a there's a focus on on trying to find the truth and wrestling honestly honestly with the text and with the facts what i see in messianic and hebrew roots faith is people wrestling or not even wrestling they are pushing an agenda that is not based on fact and truth a right. lot of it's, the time they are post truth they, yeah. they are, they're, they're emotional sensationalist um and even into the weird superstitious, you know, the mystical, you know, the word pictures and the et and the gematria and the Metatron and all this kind of stuff is like, come on. It's, it's a completely different perception of what using your God-given intellect uh, is meant for in, in the ETS world. You go to the ETS world and you're like, Wow. That people actually know the languages of the Bible and are talking intelligently about it. You go to some of these other things and they're just abusing scripture. They know just enough language to be dangerous. And they're, they surround themselves with yes people. Yeah. Completely different social worlds. I well, would, I'll go to the ETS first every day. Well, and the other thing is, is that guess what? Since I'm lumped in most of the time with Messianics, and I've done that probably myself, that's fine. But since I'm lumped in with Messianics, I feel like I can be a little bit harder on the idea on on Messianic Judaism or on Messianics in general. Because, because I don't... Th because, right. In other words, we're not the yes men. Yeah, exactly. We're not going to... We're, we're bringing... It's actually, for those who have ears to hear, we're actually bringing a valuable cultural uh, uh, scholarship measure, measure, or standard from the ETS and SBL and bringing it into the world of, quote, messianic and Hebrew roots, etc., and insisting on nothing less.